Well, guys, I got a crazy guy to tell you about here. But before I get into that, I just want to take a quick minute here and just want to welcome the newest member to the body of Christ, right? And that man's name is Sean, okay? I just wanted to, Sean, I want to thank you so much. Uh, Sean emailed me guys here the other day and he asked if I would pray with him uh, so that he could invite Jesus Christ into his heart. And I'm happy to say that uh, we did that. And uh, so, Sean, thank you so much. You have a new believer in Christ. I'm telling you, Sean, you made a great decision. And thank you so much for reaching out to me. I really appreciate that. Also want to thank everybody uh, who in the last week has sent me an email just to either to simply uh, tell you, uh, tell me that you appreciate the uh, the videos that I do. Um, just uh, just really had a lot of nice comments, a lot of nice messages I've received uh, from so many of you. So I just want to take a quick minute and just thank all of you guys uh, for that. It really means a great deal to me that you enjoy uh, the work here I'm doing at the channel, trying to bring forth the word of God out there, trying to bring people to Jesus Christ, let them know about the current times that we're living in. Uh, so thank you again so much. And many of you have also put in prayer requests as well. So, and I've been praying for you guys too. So, uh, again, keep it coming guys. All right. But anyway, I want to get to this crazy guy, guys. We got a guy from Wyoming who's been arrested. He says he claimed he came from the year 2048, came back from the future Where's Marty McFly when you need him, right? To say and warn about an alien invasion that was going to be coming here in the year 2017, 2018. Okay, it is insane. Well, apparently this man was heavily, was heavily, heavily drinking. Okay, guys. Well, Bryant Johnson was his name. He was arrested for public intoxication here just the other night after he allegedly told police that he came from the future to warn of an alien invasion. That's right. The police were called to a street in Casper, where Johnson reportedly told him that he traveled from the year 2048 and that he was trying to warn the town that aliens would be arriving next year, 2018. Johnson said that everyone needed to leave as quickly as possible and then demanded to speak to the president of the town. He reportedly told law enforcement that he was able to travel back to 2017, even though he said that he meant to travel back to 2018. Because aliens had apparently filled his body with alcohol and had him stand on a giant pad to transport him to the past. Well, I guess that's nice of the aliens to want to let all of us here on Earth know that they're coming for us. I mean, how you know, how respectful and how you know thoughtful of the aliens to warn us of this invasion, right? I mean, maybe he's right. I mean, maybe the aliens are. Maybe it's the Democratic Party. Maybe it's the liberals. Maybe the, maybe those are the aliens he's talking about. Maybe the guy, I don't know. Maybe there's something to it. I don't know. Well, <laughs> anyway, guys, he was. I mean, he was heavily intoxicated. Guys, saying that he had very watery, bloodshot eyes uh, and slurred speech uh, as he was talking to the police. He had a blood alcohol content level of a point one three six. So. Mr. Johnson is now spending his time behind bars. I'm not sure if he's he would rather be back in the year 2048 uh, with the aliens. But nonetheless, guys, I mean, crazy stuff going on out there in the world today. <laughs> crazy stuff. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. That's all I can tell you guys. We have to do that. We really, really do. All right? Jesus Christ is our refuge. He's our very present help in time of need. We can go to him for everything that we need. All right, guys. Just like I was talking about earlier with Sean, if you're watching this video right now, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, if you would like to do so, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior today, guys. You could be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. You could come into the kingdom of God today where you will have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. I'm telling you guys, there's no greater decision that you're ever going to make. If that's you, please let me know. You can email me directly as well if you'd like to do that cardsfan480 at gmail.com. I will put my email below in the description. You guys can go ahead and write me there. If you have any prayer requests, feel free to send those in as well. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. I'll continue to keep you up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.